It's one of the body's main building blocks, and up to 70% of us are not getting enough of it. We're talking about vitamin D, and it's essential for us to absorb calcium. It's just the way it is. Joining us this morning for more guidance, how to get more vitamin D into our bodies, Dr. Julia Bruni from Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. Good to see you, Doctor. Yeah, it's good to see you, too. Yeah, absolutely. So when I think vitamin D, I think what mom used to say, yep. Corey, drink your milk. Drink your milk. Are we right. not drinking enough milk? I think there's a lot of other sources of vitamin D. Yeah. Some people are lactose intolerant and can't can't uh, consume dairy products. Sure. So we have a lot of other things that can boost our vitamin D and boost our calcium without having to take a supplement. Okay. Um, so in your experience, I mean, um, if you live in Chicago mm -hmm. and you're not getting, uh, maybe it's it's tougher to get vitamin D in India, right? Than, right. Than other places. Right. Yeah. It is because we have uh, this temperate climate that goes from, you know, uh, we don't get a lot of sun exposure in the, right. the wintertime. Right now, it's beautiful yeah. and great. We can get your, your vitamin D this way. But in, during the wintertime, most people don't get a lot of sun exposure, and that's how our bodies create its own vitamin D. Okay. So if we're not getting that sun exposure, then you're not going to have enough in your system yep. to support your bones. Gotcha. So we have props today. Oh, yeah. And one of them, uh, we got we got some barbells. So, so what are we doing? We do. What has this got to do with vitamin D? So protecting your bone health uh, yeah. is done by weight-bearing exercise. So that okay. would be uh, not just weight lifting, but walking, running, um, okay. you know, the things that we that are non-weight-bearing are more like swimming or like an exercise bike, but anything that involves you you bearing your own weight is what's considered weight-bearing exercise, and that is really, really good for our bone health long-term. Okay, and then supplements. I remember a few years ago my doctor said, you need more vitamin D, he sent me out to get supplements. Yep. That's still something a lot of us do, need Absolutely. to do? Absolutely, yeah, and, and uh, a doctor can check your blood levels for vitamin D and see right. if you're deficient or not, right. and depending on the amount of deficiency depends on how much we need to supplement. So a lot of times we yeah. can get it from food, like green leafy vegetables, right. fish, um, you can, it's actually uh, fortified in a lot of different uh, either milk or juice products or right. cereals. Um, but the best way to get calcium and vitamin D is through your diet. Right. When we supplement a little bit too much calcium, um, that can actually, it's, it doesn't get absorbed into the bones. It actually goes into like the arteries and other areas of, uh, okay. and it can cause cardiovascular disease. Got so it. we really think it's best to, to, to get it through your diet. Got it. And I love seeing yogurt on him. I'm a yeah. big yogurt guy. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's another that's way to do it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yogurt okay. is great. Yeah. Yeah. So how do we know? You know, you you say 70% of, of folks are not getting enough vitamin D. How do we know? Yeah, it's interesting because there's not, you don't have symptoms from it. Yeah. But the problem would be is having a fracture from just, you know, something simple like falling down on the sidewalk. or Then you know. Then you know yeah. that you're, you're deficient. Yeah. And so um, I'd say 80% of, of people that have osteoporosis or um, low bone density are women. It's usually women after the age of 50. So it's really, really important in those okay. groups of people to, to be aware of your bone health. All right. Because um, we worry about hip fractures and other types of yeah. uh, what we call insufficiency fractures. Got it. All right. So for more information on all of this, where yeah. do we go? We go to RushOrtho.com. RushOrtho.com. Yeah. Julie, thanks for coming in. Yeah, of course. We appreciate yeah. it. Good stuff. I'm going to go lift some weights. Sounds great. All right.